hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 2 assignment regarding programming in java course so i hope everyone uh, feels this video is important for you so if you feel so please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp groups guys so that it can reach maximum number of students that will help most of them i hope so don't forget to like this video guys then only our video will get suggested to many students so show your support in terms of likes so do watch full video guys without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content so don't do that watch full video so now let's see the first question i hope almost every question is correct if you feel there should be any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section guys now let's see the first question so first question Consider the following code segment. So they have given a simple program with uh, five lines nearly. So they are asking identify the line number or line numbers where there is uh, errors in the above code. So guys, if you see here, so the problem here is in the second line itself. So here there is there should be a brace string args right, but they did not given here so second line that means answer b so mark option b as correct answer for second question i mean first question now let's move on to the second one so second question consider the following code segment so they have similar uh, they have given a similar type of program and they are asking the uh, identify the line number or line numbers where there is error in the above code so here they have given correct only and if you see here they have given the two concluding uh, braces already here they have given one opening and here also second opening so here they, they have given two opening braces so the match is exactly completed but they have they given extra braces right in the fourth and fifth lines so they have they should be complemented they should be complemented with another two opening braces but there is no such thing so fourth and fifth line will give you the error so mark option d option d now let's move on to the third question third one So third question. So this is uh, consider the following code segment. So they have given uh, seven lines of Java code, and here the main question is select the correct output description for the above code. So I have did this in my compiler, guys. I think uh, this uh, double quotes. They, I feel there should be no space in this, so such that the answer will change according to that. If the uh, uh, there is space between these double quotes. Then uh, this could be correct, and if there is no such space, then option D will be the correct one, guys. So I think there is no space here. So if that is the case, then I am going with option D. So mark option D such that it prints first ten natural numbers in a single line with no spaces. Now let's move on to the fourth question, guys. So fourth one, consider the following code segment. So similarly, they have given a code, Java code with seven lines. So modify. They are asking to modify the above code. Uh, the mo uh, modify the above code such that it prints all the even numbers till hundred. So what are the even numbers till the hundred? Two, four, six, eight, and so on till hundred, right? So by replacing, so I have got the answer uh, by replacing the fourth line, guys. I have replaced this fourth line with this one. So then I have got the answer. That is option C. So mark option C as correct answer for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth one, guys. Fifth one. Following is a program given for this question. So this is the program, guys. 
they are asking what will be the output of the above program so for fifth question the correct answer that i have got is option b that means five twos mean there are five number of twos and zero one eight so i have got option b so mark option b as correct answer for fifth question now let's move on to the sixth one so sixth question so guys before getting into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding nptel exam preparation mcqs so progr for programming in java course we have prepared uh, two types of packs so first one is savings pack and the other one is super savings pack here you will get pdf access which is a google drive link i will send you after the successful payment so guys here there are in savings pack there are 150 mcqs so which is the total cost is 300 rupees so the price is double for each bit right in the super savings pack the name itself suggests you will get huge number of 300 mcqs and the price is not double guys it is just 500 only and if you see this clearly observe this uh, the validity will be till the exam day even if the exam is postponed also we will give uh, we will prolong that period and we will extend that period guys so this super savings pack which is 300 rupees it uh, up to three members can access that guys and if you see the super savings pack which is 500 i mean 300 mcqs which cost 500 rupees only so for this we will give access for up to five members so uh, five of your classmates can form a group and you can access that so if you share 100 rupees per each person then you can easily get that right but you have to buy this in groups only or single person if you can bear that amount you can uh, purchase that also so the topic coverage in super i mean savings pack is medium and super savings pack is very high guys because there are a lot of mcqs and search option is also available for both of them so you can search the questions and both are easy to revise because these are mcqs so easily scroll the pdf even before going to the exam so i uh, my suggestion is to take this 300 mcqs pack because you'll get more number of mcqs more number of mcqs that means more practice and more preparation so only if you want to buy this uh, exam preparation mcqs you can mail me to this email id guys only if you want to purchase so this is the email id i will give that in the description and comment section also so with nearly five years of experience we are giving these solutions guys these are uh, previous nptl based questions only so now let's get back to the solutions already many people have taken this guys so be part of that think smart so sixth question consider the following incorrect program so they have given an incorrect program and they have, uh, they have asked us how to correct the above code segment so how to correct this uh, statement right because they are asked in every option they have given line 4 so for sixth question i have got the correct output when i have used option a guys so i am going with option a now let's move on to the seventh one seventh question they have given again a program and they are asking the asking to find the output of the following program so when i did this i have got the answer as fourth option option d so i'm going with option d so mark option d that's correct answer for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one so for eighth question they're asking the output once again so for eighth question i have got again option d guys nptel so mark option D as correct answer for 8th question. Now let's move on to the ninth one. So ninth question. So when I did this, I have got 117 option B. So mark option B as correct answer for ninth question. Now let's move on to the final question of the assignment. That is 10th one. So for 10th question, I have got option 
C compilation error. So thank you guys. Keep supporting.